Hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with D. Today I'd like to show you something different that I got from GBFKE. It is a clock, a uh, special drill diamond painting clock and I thought ooh that looks pretty cool I want to have a go at that and I wasn't sure how it was going to come in the mail. I didn't know if it was rolled up or if it was like in a box but anyway I thought I'll show you how it came to me and what is involved with doing this diamond painting. So it comes in this normal padded bag. I'll just show you the canvas there. So you've got your canvas, you've got your little kit, your drills, and your bits and pieces to put the clock together. So I'll start with the canvas. The canvas is pretty good. It's pretty pliable. It says 35 by 35, but I'm thinking it's about 30 by 30. So I'll just have a bit of a, a look. Yeah, so it's 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Just showing you the drill field. So it's really clear, really easy to see. No light pad required. There's your symbols. So pretty good. I wanted something fairly simple but effective. So there's your canvas. The drills that you get in this kit it's got six different colors. So you've got these large AB circles. In there. You've got the same ones but in this beautiful blue color. Gosh, I love this color. So pretty. You've got some smaller rounds in the AB, pretty sparkly. Got some AB teardrops. Let's see. AB teardrops. Got some small dark blue marquees. Love that color. And then you've got these little black with the AB shine on them. They're very nice. I love the colors. Simple but effective. So our little kit here with the bits and pieces that you need for the clock. You've got your standard component there. Takes looks like a double A battery. And you've got all these little bits and pieces in here. I will note there are no directions, so you're on your own trying to figure out how to put together. So hopefully it's not going to be too hard. I don't think it will be. So in here you've got a choice of little watch hands, watch hands, clock hands. So you can choose if you want some spiffy red ones, if you want some classic. So these are quite pretty. You can have some little ones as well. You can mix and match them if you want to. Why not? It's your clock. And some washers. So there's all your bits and pieces that uh, get the clock working. So when you're done doing your dot painting, you need to hang it up and assemble the clock pieces and everything like that. So you will need a backing for this canvas that will give it... Uh, make it sturdy so it can hang on the wall and it can hold your little components there with the battery and all that in it. So I will be showing you this as a work in progress and how I'm putting it together. So my plans so far are I'm going to get a very thin MDF board on this canvas here. It actually has, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got, it's actually got it ruled so that you cut those bits away attach like lay this over top of the MDF board fold it over and somehow or other I'm going to attach it not sure how but anyway we'll see how we go so I'm really actually really looking forward to uh, giving this a go and seeing how it turns out I think it'll turn out really really good so I'll keep you posted this video will have 
the work in progress and uh, how I finish this off. Okay, so I finished my clock diamond painting. It came up really well. The sparkle and the drills, they were really lovely. Uh, the glue was so sticky that when I was sticking these big ones down that I had them slightly off and I had a heck of a time getting them off to put them in the right position. Uh, but look, I can live with that. I like it extra sticky, so um, that's not definitely not a negative. But I think that turned out really, really well. So I'm ready to frame this clock. And I was thinking, how am I going to frame this so I was going to put it on MDF and in the end I decided to uh, frame it so what I've done is I have bought a shadow box frame so it's got like it's set in so it'll sit about here um, it's quite wide it's a 30 by 30 and it'll fit it perfectly and um, I you can hang it up if you want to. I'm going to stand mine up because it stands up all by itself. So that's the plan. So I've taken the glass out of it and got it ready to go. And then I've got <clears throat> the backing board. I've drilled a hole in the middle. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. And I've stuck double-sided tape. So I'm going to frame this clock and hope that it works out. So I've put a hole in the middle. I just used a box cutter or a Stanley knife. Um, cut a hole in the middle bit here and it doesn't quite match up but that's okay. So anyway let's try and uh, put this together and Hopefully it's going to work out. So what I'll do is I'll start taking the backing off the double-sided tape. If I can do that. Okay, so I've got the tape off. I really struggle with that so um hope that's not a sign of things to come but anyway moving right along so the double sided tape is off I'll just make sure I've got it the right way up and I'm just going to stick this down and hope that it works because I did try to iron it and it's it's um like puckered up at the edges there so it's not going to sit flat but anyway I figure why not I'm just going to do it and be done with it. So I'll just line her up. Hopefully that's lined up. And then I'm going to go from the inside out because it is puckered on the sides and I don't mind that. I just don't want it to pucker up in the middle. So once I put the drills down, I actually sealed the diamond painting because I've taken the glass out of the frame and it's going to get dust on it no matter how hard you try to keep the dust off it. So I did seal it uh, for that reason and I use some... Um, I used just the, the Deco Art triple glaze and I just went around each piece. I didn't do the whole thing. So I'm just working my way from inside to the outside and so far so good. Yeah, that bit's going to be a bit of a problem. That there. I've got some bubbles. That's okay, I can handle that. And I'm hoping that because the frame has a beveled edge that you won't see it because it'll be in the background. <laughs> there we go. I reckon that worked. Huh, there you go. Wonders never cease. 
Okay, so now that that's all stuck down, somewhat, I'll start assembling your clock pieces. So in the kit, if I can open it, you've got your clock bit and you've got all these little hands. So I had to have a little bit of a um, <clears throat> lesson as to how the heck all this works because there's no directions that came with it. So I've got the battery, AA battery. So these red ones, you use one, so they've given you a spare. And because it's got that, um, that little ending bit on there, that goes on the top. So I've worked that bit out. So I only need one of those. And I don't want any extra hands. I just want the two. I've chosen the two short decorative ones to go on there. I mean, they're nice. I, I like the long ones too, but I think the little short ones would be all right. So I'll plonk them there. And you've got two washers and a nut. So I had to ask around and find out what goes where. I gathered that the washers obviously go on either side, but I didn't know where the nut went. But anyway, hopefully I've been told the correct thing and um, it can assemble properly. So anyway, that's staying reasonably stuck down. Alright, so hopefully I've lined this up right. So I'm just going to put the, at the back of it, I'm just going to pop this guy in through there, all the way through if it will go. There we go. So he's on, oops, he's on the back. Alright, so far so good. Let's get all these little bits and pieces on here correctly. Clocks around. So I'll have to suss out what's going on there because it doesn't seem quite right. Oh, now I can't get in the frame. I'll just line it up with a little clips. There's a clip stopping it from going in. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to try this again. I had to figure out a couple of bits and pieces, but I think I know what I'm doing, so let's just see what happens. So the nut, I push the thing through, the nut goes on and it screws on. So I was having a problem with it because the, there's not enough threads on the clock mechanism so that I could screw the nut on so I had to kind of alter it a little bit and because it was my backing board was too thick so anyway we've done that and the little nut thingy is screwed on I haven't used the washers because the washers will make it too thick and it won't sit snug and I can't get the the nut screwed on so anyway I've done away with the washers so I've screwed that nut on. Now with your hands, I'll just move him over there. With these hands, you've got the hour hand and the hole is really big. You have the minute hand where the hole is smaller. And then you have the second hand, which has this little, eh, there we go. This little end on it so what they've done is they've given you two sets of hands so bring this one back over again so the hour hand with the the bigger hole goes first and the problem that I had was I wasn't being forceful enough you actually have to snap it in there so there we go so he snapped in and then you get your, where are we, the minute hand, the smaller hole. He needs to go in next. And you snap him in, there we go, as well. 
And then last but not least, you got your little um, second hand with that little top on it. And I've bent him a little bit, but anyway. And then he just pushes in. So like that. Ta-da! So let's see if this works. So what that does, it keeps us nice and snug because the problem I had was that it was just flopping around all over the place. Um, the red one was going round and round, but everything else was just flopping there. <laughs> so that's basically how you do it. You put the hour hand first, the minute hand next, and then your second hand on top. So we will flip this over. And I will pop my, oh, I can't see it. I will pop my battery in. And I can hear it's ticking over already. And there you go. It's working. So that was definitely a learning curve uh, on how to put a clock together. Um, so the main important thing is to make sure everything is snug. So like I said, they didn't give me enough thread from the mechanism to put the washers on plus the nut. So I've done away with the washers. I've screwed on the nut and it's nice and snug now and the clock mechanism can now work and you just snap in those hands. So I wasn't being forceful enough putting them in. So you just need to snap them on and... Um, Pop your second hand on the top and then pop your battery in and voila, one clock. I'm loving this. I love the frame. It just barely fits. And yes, it's still got the puckering in the corner, but look, I'm happy with that. So thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully I've helped you out a bit and um, giving you an insight into how to put these things together because they didn't give you any directions and I'm not mechanically minded. So it was a very interesting little ride I've had there. So, but there you go. There is my clock. I am loving it. Thank you so much for watching my video and um, I will catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.